Today I'm going to show you how 3D printing can help you with your B-roll if you're a vlogger. What am I talking about? Stick with me, stay tuned, and let's jump into it. Welcome to this episode of DIY3DTech.com. So one of the things that, that I do is I produce for a couple different YouTube channels, including On Photography, another uh, photographic-based YouTube channel. And one of the things that I like to do is shoot B-roll for various activities. Now, you don't see a lot of it on this channel because it's a more so a DIY channel. However, for other channels, I do use B-roll. What is B-roll? Well, that's that filler stuff that you see Casey Neistat use all the time of time lapses or unique angle shots. But to get that, it sometimes can be difficult. So one of the things I went out there looking for is some conceptual designs for a small B-roll rig. And what I decided to do after looking at several of them is come up with my own version. Hey, I'm a maker, this is a DIY channel. Uh, I should be able to make something. And so I designed up my own solution and here it is. Well, at least the pieces and here's a, uh, an assembled version. Now, I created two versions of this. One a 60 millimeter version and one an 80 millimeter version. So let's talk a bit about design since this is a design talk episode. So one of my first prerequisites is it needed to be simple. And second one is it needed to be transportable. And so this is where I designed this up. So actually it's just one piece replicated three times basically and assembled in this fashion. And I'll go into that a little bit more in a second. However, before we do that, I want to explain a little bit more about this because one of the pieces you see, each one of these overlap the other. And I'm using this quarter 20 nylon thumb screw with these 3D printed feet on it to adjust for the difference in height because obviously you have a bottom, a middle, and a top. Each one of these are five millimeters in height and so I have a total of 15. Now I have a 20 millimeter uh, thumb screw here which puts five millimeters into the ball head here. So it works perfect. Now I forget how tall these are. These are like two inches. And again I've got uh, these that were designed in Fusion 360 with threads in, in them and they screw very easily onto these to provide kind of like pointed feet. Now the idea behind these is this uh, base ratchets in any shape, fashion, or form that you wish it to ratchet in which is really cool. So you can set it in various locations also because you can taper the height you can angle this down, you can angle it up, you can angle two up, angle one up uh, you know Bob's your uncle as far as design. So with that said, let's quickly assemble this and I'll show you how it all works. So the first thing that happens is we uh, just screw these in. And again, I've modeled the threads in 360. They're quarter 20, so any quarter 20 bolt will work. I'm using nylon. I'll have some links to the nylon ones below. Uh, you can use metal. Obviously, they're just going to be a little bit heavier. We take our little foot, again, modeled in Fusion 360 with model threads. And they screw on. It doesn't screw on too far, just enough to really hold it and snug it up. Now, let's go ahead and do these other ones up real quick. All right, now that we have all three of these uh, put together, it's now uh, time to assemble the three in, onto the uh, head. Now I'm using a typical GoPro mount here. In this case you can use a ball head. Anything with a quarter 20, this is a quarter 20 opening. And all, all we do is take, slide the first one, second one, third one. Make sure obviously all your thumb screws are facing up as that. And then we just simply screw this onto here. Tighten it up and now Bob's your uncle. You can turn this in any shape, fashion, or form. So again, you can angle it down. You can turn these, again, adjusting and leveling it out to adjust for the five millimeter difference in each one. Uh, and then spin them forward, something like that. So again, you can kind of sit this around different type of objects. You can angle it up, you can angle it down. So again, I've been very impressed with this. Now, you can go with a fairly large camera with the 80. So here's one of my older G10s. And if I can work around the camera I'm filming on and put this on here, it'll easily handle that size of camera. Now the smaller 60mm works good for the action cams. Uh, I don't know if I would go with DLSR. 
uh, I may come up with a version if you guys are interested. I'll have the Fusion files out there with this on Thingiverse, so you can simply download it and make the changes if you want. Um, but again, this is a very simple design, but however, a very effective one. Because you can break this down, put this in your camera bag, makes it very transportable, very lightweight, especially with the nylon bolts, very sturdy, and also adaptable to your shooting situations to shoot for various B-roll clips. Well, hopefully you found this interesting. Again, I'll have these out on Thingiverse. If you did, I'd appreciate a thumbs up. Uh, also, Swag Shop's going to be up there. Subscribe over there. And hey, what would you shoot with this? Let me know in the comments below. Cheers, and we'll catch you in the next video. Please click like below and subscribe to the channel to keep up to date on all